Welcome back to Arts Weekly. Joining me is Ron Reese, president of the Fort Wayne Area Community Band. Ron, good to see you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So what is the Community Band, the Fort Wayne Area Community Band, and, and uh, how long has it been around in Fort Wayne? Well, the Fort Wayne Community Band was established in 1981 uh, under uh, the conductor of Dr. Schlax, who is a professor here. He put an ad in the newspaper asking for musicians who had gradu graduated from school and wanted to play again. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, it has just blossomed into what it is today. Uh, quite a good sized band. How many we people have do you have? We uh, have approximately 80 members. It varies, sometimes more, sometimes less, but close to 80. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a band and an orchestra? Well, orchestra, you have strings, violins, cellos, mm -hmm. this type of thing. A band is wind instruments okay. along with percussion. I see. And what instrument do you play? <laughs> I'm the principal tempness for the band. I'm a percussionist. I see. Um, I played percussion in high school. And when I was in college, I had no music whatsoever. And um, oh, probably in the late 90s, a friend of mine said, hey, we have this Fort Wayne area community band. You ought to come play. Yeah. And so I did. It's as easy as that. Do, it's just as easy as that. So what kind of people get involved with the band? And how do they, how do they become a member? Uh, well, I tell you, we have band. people of all ages, um, right out of high school to people in their 60s and sometimes 70s. Mm -hmm. um, and all they have to do is we have two requirements. One, they can read music, and two, they're a high school graduate. Oh, really? That's it. So and, uh, do they audition? If they want to, what we would like to see is have them come to one of our rehearsals, sit in, bring your instrument, play, see if it's what you want. I see, and, and then I would imagine there might be a number of people that stick around for quite a few years and really find that this is an important thing, a, a real fun exactly. thing to do. Exactly, they do. We've had people there that were, we have people now that have been there since the inception. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. In 81, oh yes. Um, and we have new people all the time. It's, it's a lot of fun. Right, it's not a high pressure environment. <laughs> say, oh, but no. We are a group of people that love to play music. And when do you rehearse? We rehearse on Tuesday evenings mm -hmm. uh, from 7.30 to 9 here at the IPFW campus. Oh, that's nice. And then uh, you, uh, well, first of all, about you, Ron, uh, uh, what do you do when you're not playing with the band? <laughs> I work for the Raytheon Company. You too. I've been there for uh, 28 years. Uh-huh. And uh, been happy. And, you, and you've now taken on responsibility over the last, I think, couple of years or just recently with the, as president. Yes, I've taken on the responsibility of president. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. What kind of music do you play? Oh my gosh, we play all sorts. We play uh, some jazz tunes, we play classical tunes, um, show tunes. Um, we try to vary it throughout uh, the year in our different uh, concerts. I see. And who conducts the band? Uh, we have a couple associate conductors, uh, Dave Blackwell and Sue Yale. Right now we're searching for a new primary conductor. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going very well. You guys are amazingly busy. Uh, <laughs> I, I we try to be. <laughs> I, I, we were just counting before this. Was like, do they ever have a week off? No, you really, you, during the year, you, you perform at least four shows here at IPFW. That's uh, correct. Fall through spring. Yes. Uh, and where are those, where are those usually at uh, the, In the Reinhardt Music Center. Mm -hmm. um, those are our four winter concerts, mm -hmm. usually in uh, October, December, February and uh, this next one will be in uh, May. Mm -hmm. um, we do three summer concerts at the Folinger Theater. Oh wow! Um, those will be uh, the third Tuesday of every month in June, July, and August. Okay, now so that's the obviously outdoor events, and I think those are coming up on what June twenty first and yes, uh, July nineteenth and August sixteenth. I have mm -hmm. uh, I have here. Uh, so this is obviously kind of a you know pretty active organization. <laughs> what do the people say about it who are a part of the band? Why, why, why do they do it? Mm -hmm. People are there because they love to play music. Mm -hmm. um, we love to perform. We love to get better. Uh, the camaraderie is wonderful in the band. Mm -hmm. uh, once you become a member, it's hard not to keep coming every week. And it turns into sort of a social thing. Maybe oh, you go out goodness, afterwards yes. and it's something exactly. that people look forward to. Or there's some people that probably, this might be their night out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it is. Mm -hmm. And they just love to come and love to play music. 
I see. And like you said, the only thing they need to know how to do is 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 to read music. That's right. And to be be a high school graduate. I came back into the band after almost 15 years of playing nothing, mm -hmm. and I stepped right in. Loved every minute of it ever since. And do you have to practice during the week uh, to be ready for the rehearsal? Is there a commitment outside of rehearsal time? You would want to, um, but mm, some of us don't do as much as we should. Oh, <laughs> well, we're not going to tell. No, we won't say anything. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> Obviously, you, you said that the, that a band consists of all the brass and the, and the woodwinds, right. uh, percussion. Uh, not not strings. That's that's more that's of a an orchestra. orchestra thing. Yes. Uh, are there some instruments that you're really, uh, I guess, are either more popular or others that are? It's kind of hard to find somebody that knows how to play them. Oh, I tell you, we are always hurting for percussionist. Really? You really? Um, you would not think that, but we always need percussionist. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll take anyone that wants to join. And you have to have your own instrument. Basically, yes. Uh, we have one or two instruments that uh, the uh, band owns. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the percussion instruments are university owned. Oh, okay. Um, so we are able to use those, which is oh, that's a nice. Good thing. Yes, it is. It's very nice. Yeah, and you're you're a company in residence at IPFW, exactly. correct? Exactly. A company so in resident have been for years, mm -hmm. um, and we have an excellent working relationship with the university. Yeah, we really enjoy having you on campus well, as well. You. I hope that's been working out well. It for you. has. It I've, has. I've always been kind of sympathetic to percussionists because you know a flute player can like <laughs> you know practically ride up on their bicycle. You know, we just had Don Ritchie here, but a hard drummer has a you know back in the truck here. I'm going to unload my timpanis. That's exactly. Just, it's hard to carry those on yeah, your back. You just can't take them to a party or anything like that. No. <laughs> but fortunately, like you say, that a lot of those those kinds of instruments, those bigger instruments, are supplied. And again, it, it seems to me that you want to encourage people that maybe haven't you know haven't picked up that oh, clarinet or something course. like that since college or high school. It doesn't does, doesn't matter how many years it's been, correct? Not at all. Yeah. It's just like getting on a bicycle again. Mm -hmm. They'll pick it up, and we don't expect you to be a virtuoso. You just come in, you play, and enjoy yourself. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, we, we want to get back to some of the other sure. the other events that, uh, that that are keeping. The summer's a big big thing for the for the band. You're mm -hmm. you're all over the place. We just mentioned the series that you do out there at the Follinger. Yes. Uh, but you also play with the uh, at the Three Rivers Festival at the, in, during the parade, I believe. Yes, we do a pre-parade show um, in front of the city county building. Mm -hmm. That's going to be uh, on July 9th, uh, Saturday, July 9th, I believe. Yes, it. Uh, I believe it's 8:30. We start playing, mm -hmm. and uh, we do a short concert there right before the parade starts. And you say you have 80 members in the band, but. Yes. Do, all 80 play at once, or some people oh, come no, and go. And not so at all. On any given evening, um, you might see something. Exactly. We have uh, snowbirds who go to Florida in mm -hmm. the wintertime, mm -hmm. and they come back in the spring and join the band again. Oh, that's um, cool. it, we're and People very, are very supportive of each other. Oh, they help. Definitely. They help. If you, if you haven't picked up the instrument, they help you. You know, hey, you know, I'm sitting oh, next to sure. you here. This is how you play it. I mean, it's, we're. A band of brothers. A band of brothers. <laughs> One of my favorite events is the ice cream social that you do every ah, yes. summer here at IPFW, and that's, that's going to be on, on July 12th. That's a lot of fun. You get to listen to the band, eat ice cream, right. and enjoy beautiful weather, I hope. Well, we always hope. It's always that's an iffy proposition here in, in Indiana. But that's not just open to IPFW employees, though no. a lot of us go to that, but for the whole the, community, exactly. right? Exactly. The community is invited. And that's on set at 7 p.m. Three Rivers, Three Rivers Fireworks, and that's on Saturday, Jul, uh, July 16th. Yes, we play down at Fryman Square um, for the fireworks. We play along with the fireworks, mm -hmm. accompanying them, and uh, it's, it's a fun time. Great to hear the music and watch the fireworks. Oh, that's, and that's, uh, that's down near, near Headwaters Park or, Fry, yes, uh, or exactly. Fryman Square, somewhere exactly. in that area. So. Yes. So if people want to find out either how to uh, join the band or uh, or where the events are, they just go to your website, which I think is fwacb.org. Dot org. Yes, correct. And uh, you know, we can't say prices on the uh, on the air on PBS, <laughs> but it's entirely re entire, it's uh, very, very reasonable, reasonable. Very reasonable <laughs> uh, to do that, and you can just co contact the band. Yes. So uh, I guess uh, I always have images in the summer of. of you know, Joseph uh, Strauss and Austrian, you know, the old polka <laughs> and and uh, uh, waltzes that the, the the great Austrian bands used to play. Do you do stuff like that? We do all sorts of things. Um, well, our first Follinger concert, um, we are going to celebrate American show tunes, and we also bring in students, high school students, for that concert that uh, want to play oh, with I the see. band. So they're invited for the first time. Then. Yes. 
yes, and maybe, exactly. maybe maybe build the habit. Bingo. <laughs> well, great. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful activity that you guys do, and it's a great opportunity uh, for the community to, to, to join, either mm -hmm. as, as musicians or to, or to hear. And I'm looking forward to a full summer of band music. And Excellent. Ron, I want to thank you for coming on the well, show. Well, thank you. I sure appreciate it. Okay. For more information about the Fort Wayne Area Community Band and how you can get involved, visit fwacb.org or call 385-5181. If you missed us on TV, you could find us on the internet. Arts Weekly can be seen on YouTube and Facebook, and you can always follow us on Twitter. As always, Arts Weekly can be seen on Sundays on PBS and Tuesday through Thursday on College Access Television. I'm Chuck O'Connor. Thanks for tuning in to Arts Weekly. Join me next week when we interview singer-songwriters Country Joe McDonald and Tom Rush. Thank you.